getting here finally for most of you still not really for me I'm just coming back off vacation my place is a mess so uh, excuse all that I got a lot of stuff in over the past couple weeks I'm gonna share it with you right now it's mostly spring stuff so I was in Florida it was nice I bought a lot of stuff for that trip which is mostly spring and summer type clothing but uh, just getting home it's cold it's like still pretty cold right now so that's kind of a bummer but who cares about that I'm not gonna be a Debbie Downer I still want to show you guys some great spring stuff especially the things that I bought for that trip so I have a ton to show you and this is gonna be a little bit sloppy I've got these things prepared but there's stuff everywhere so I don't really know exactly how much I'm gonna get to in this video but I'm gonna try to run through it all relatively quickly so bear with me Let's break it all down right now. All right, starting things off with a pair of shorts that has my DMs on Instagram lit up. So many people were asking me about these things. So we got the Nike palm print dry fit basketball shorts. This is one of the better pairs of Nike shorts I've bought in a long time. They cost 55 bucks, well worth it in my opinion. I'll be sure to link these for you guys as well as everything in this video down in the description. There's three different color options, but the shade of purple is perfect on these, and then the white accents from the Nike swoosh, the ribbing down towards the bottom, that classic varsity basketball style ribbing, I really like that, and then they are lightweight. So definitely not a heavy short. I wanted to bring these with me on vacation. They pack easy. They supply that color hit that I really needed. And like I said, there's a few different colors and I may or may not have bought them all and <laughs> they'll be on the way soon, but I really like those shorts. All right, next up, denim jacket game continues to improve. I didn't have any black denim jackets, so I went ahead and grabbed one from Everlane because they just restocked this joint right here. And I like it. I know I pretty much praise everything Everlane because it's one of my favorite brands, but this denim jacket, it could be a little bit better. It's very rigid and stiff, so it's gonna break in over time, which is fine, but you know, I like stuff that's already broken in, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. I just have to wear it and break it in, but I really wanted a black denim jacket because most of mine, or all of mine, are like blue or off-white or whatever. Nighttime, black denim jacket. It's got a pretty slim fit, so I almost wear this only with a t-shirt. Hardly ever am I gonna wear this layered with a sweatshirt, and the spring's pretty much here, so you don't do that very much anyway. Next up, yes sir, I grabbed something from the Kith and Russell Athletic collaboration. These are $90 basic shorts. For some of you, that may not sit well, and I understand why, I really do. A lot of you may see Russell Athletic and you're like, okay, I can go into like Target or Walmart and buy a pair of those shorts for $12. Not these, man, this is not those, like totally different. Obviously, it's a Kith collaboration, so the quality is gonna be stepped up. These are made in the USA. Also, it's pigment dyed. I really like pigment dyed stuff. And Kith sourced the fabric for this collaboration, FYI. It's not like they hit up Russell and said, hey, throw our logo on some of your shorts and then ship them to our shop. No, Kith, this is pretty much a pair of Kith shorts and then they sewed on the Russell and Kith collab tags. Like, think of it like that. It's totally different. Now, if I wanted to create made in USA shorts for my own brand and sell them to you guys, the price point would probably be right around the same. I just know what it costs to manufacture a small batch of a unique item, just like this is. Let me know if you guys grabbed anything from this drop. All right, next up, I'm just gonna tear into these. So, let's check these things out, man. Classic Reebok. We got a pair of Instapump Fury OGs, and I've never had a pair of this sneaker. There's been a, I don't think. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever had a pair of these. There's been plenty colorways that have caught my eye, but never really had a pair. This is a gift from Reebok, by the way, so a big shout out to them. Got a little card here, probably from my man John over there. I'll check this out after, but uh, thanks John, I appreciate this pair. So, wow, these are bright. <laughs> so certainly not lacking on the color side of things with this sneaker. This might actually be a great spring option for some of you if you're digging this combination. So this is more of like a highlighter yellow. This is not like a varsity yellow, at least to me in this light. It seems like a highlight of yellow, and then obviously you've got some red and black throughout. But this model, it's so interesting to me. It's, it's unique. There's nothing like this shoe. 
high-end designers have done their thing with these things. Boutiques have done collabs on them. Like this is just a shoe that's been around. And uh, finally, I got a pair. But we got to keep it moving. Just wanted to show these to you guys real quick. Next up, I got a bathing suit. It's from PacSun. I brought it with me on vacation, and it's the first bathing suit that I've bought in maybe seven or eight years. I just never really wear bathing suits, but uh, this print caught my eye, and I actually really like them. They were affordable, only 30 bucks, so I grabbed them for the trip. All right, moving on. We got something totally different from sneakers and clothing, but in my opinion, it falls right in line with them. So we got a portable Bluetooth speaker, and this is from Ultimate Ears, and it's called My Boom. Three. Every aspect of this speaker I customized. The fabric in the front, I chose this camo forest print, red on the top and the bottom, and then we got E-Win detailed on the back. Now, I never really had an interest in having a Bluetooth speaker like this, being completely honest with you guys. I just didn't think I would use it. I'd either use my headphones or just the speaker on my computer, but this thing is so portable that I've been using it pretty much everywhere I go. So if I'm just chilling and I'm recording some content, having this on deck has actually been pretty cool because it's loud, it's effective, it's got 360 sound, it's dust and waterproof, and it's super easy to connect to your phone. I use the app. I can turn it on and off, adjust the volume. It's just, it's perfect. And I'm just surprised that I never had a Bluetooth speaker prior. And it's something that I'm gonna continue to use. You can grab one of these right now and you can customize it yourself. There's a bunch of different options, but I think mine turned out pretty good. Let me know if you guys use these Bluetooth type speakers down in the comment section, but this thing is money. So big shout out to Ultimate Ears for sending this over and letting me customize this. It's a new feature that they have. Usually if you just buy one of these speakers, it's like a plain black black or plain blue or whatever. Let's keep it moving though. Next up, let's get into some Ralph. I grabbed this for my Florida trip as well and actually didn't wear it when I was down there, but I'm very hyped on this jacket. I forget the name of it. Does it say it on here? I don't really know. This is bad of me not having the name, but it's basically a zip-up striped jacket, as you can see. And I've worn this camo zip-up jacket from Polo as well a lot recently, and you guys have been asking me about it. Like, where can I get that? Where can I get it? I featured it in a video. It sold out, not because of me. It just sold out over time. But I continue to wear it, and you guys have continued to ask me where it's from. This is the same exact jacket, just a different pattern. Instead of having it be camo, it's striped. And I think this is a little bit more spring appropriate. The best part about this, in my opinion, is the small detailing on the left side. It's the polo, <laughs> wrong finger. It's the Polo Ralph Lauren Crest logo, and it's just so classic. It's my favorite when they use this. I have a crew neck, and it's just all in the front. So I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. It's pretty much a coach's jacket. It's very lightweight. You can wear it as is or layer it if you want to. But super nice quality, and it's not that expensive. It does go on sale. I'll link it for you guys. It runs true to size. Okay, and while I was down in Florida, I went ahead and grabbed a couple fitted caps. We got the Florida Marlins and the Seattle Mariners. Both have that old school teal color. The Mariners one is a little bit different with that navy on the brim. Both are gray under the brim. These are both from the Retro Classic collection, which is really cool. It pretty much is a retro of the older on-field caps that I wear all the time. Honestly, I wear those older caps and people are like, where'd you get that? How can I get a hat that fits that well? All you gotta do is buy a hat and wear it for like six or seven years. And on that sixth or seventh year, it'll start to fit you a little bit better. With these, they're wool. So they will definitely shrink. And there's a little bit of a process that I go through to make sure the hat fits me well up top and that it's not like swimming on my head or anything like that. Like there's a good way to get almost a custom fit with these things. I'll get into that another time because I don't really have much time left on this video and I wanna keep it moving because there's a pair of sneakers I wanna to get to. But you can adjust the fit on these retro classics a little bit better than these. You know, this hat, it's not really going anywhere. All right, so a little bit of a bonus unboxing in this video. I already recorded everything else here watching right now, but these just showed up, so I'm inserting them into this video real quick because it is a pair that I'm hyped on. It's a sneaker that just went on sale and I've been waiting for these things to go under retail and it's certainly one of the best spring GR sneakers that you can pick up right now. So I'm gonna unbox these things real, real quick and then we'll get back to the rest of the video. Okay. 
Give me a discount code. No. So retail on these was 140 bucks, and I was able to get them for 90. Doesn't say. I think 92. And here we go with the Air Max 2 Light in University Gold. And this is certainly a summer and springtime banger, man. Look at these things. And I thought that this swoosh was red, and it's actually, what color is this? Flash Crimson. Huh, I don't know why I thought this was red. In my mind, I'm like, all right, it's red, blue, and yellow, which is a cool combination. But they actually look even better in person knowing that this is like a neon pink type color. Nice looking shoe, man, nice looking shoe. I've seen a few different colorways, the light blue, the purple, but this is definitely the best pair, in my opinion. Rocking these hard ASAP and wanted to include them in this video. Let's get back to the rest of everything else right now because I got a lot to show you. Next up, of course, there's a lightweight hoodie in this video. This is a lightweight French Terry. It's from Everlane. It's their new uh, French Terry drop that they did like a few weeks ago. They did a crew neck sweatshirt. They did, I believe, t-shirts and then these hoodies. It's raglan cut and it's in this like pale light blue color, which is so spring appropriate. I'm a huge fan of this sweatshirt right here. I'll probably grab other colors because I have every Everlane sweatshirt that they've ever dropped. It fits true to size and it's more on the relaxed side of things. So it's definitely not a slim fitting sweatshirt, which is what I like. Okay, and then last up is a pair of kicks that I just got today. Walked in store, was able to secure my pair easily. I think some people are sleeping on these and if you are, that's all good. But this is definitely a spring and summertime colorway. Let me know if you guys went ahead and grabbed this Jordan 1. So we've got the crimson joints and I've seen so many people just calling these black and pink. And yeah, it is black and pink essentially, but in hand, it's not the pink that you see online. I've seen people filter these a lot. It's definitely more of like a tannish pink. It's a unique color for sure, which is why I wanted to grab these. Let me just talk about the materials on this shoe real quick though. The black is obviously this tumbled leather, which is fine with me. I like that. But the crimson part, it's not great leather. And I think that it's going to crease in a negative way. Like I don't think it's going to have those good Jordan 1 creases that most ones get. I may be wrong, but it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be that good stuff. There's also two lace options that these things come with. I may throw the greens in there just to be a little bit different and try to style them differently. But let me know if you guys wanna see a how-to style video with this Jordan 1. I'm sure you've uh, already checked out unboxing videos and pickups of this shoe already. So I don't really need to beat a dead horse. You guys have seen this shoe and you know the deal with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up one time, subscribe, if you're new, let me know what you guys have been rocking this spring season. Put me on to some new brands that I should check out. I'm always looking for some new things. Like I stumbled across a few brands on Instagram today that I didn't know. And uh, usually those Instagram ads aren't effective, but I did check one out today. So, uh, you know, I tried out a new brand. So if you found a new brand and you want me to check it out for sure, leave it in the comment section. Let me know if you grabbed anything from that Kith Russell collab. Did you grab these ones? Just holler at me down in the comments. I will catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. A lot of spring content is on all of those social media platforms. But I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.